Our focus now turns to renewable energy alternatives amid uh, power supply challenges, as well as a move to meet global emission standards. Anglo-American has partnered with EDF Renewables to form a jointly owned company in Vusa Energy that will develop a regional renewable energy ecosystem. Head of uh, Carbon Neutrality in uh, New Business Development at Anglo-American, Nicole Mason, joins us for more details. Thank you so much for your time, Nicole. Of course, much needed support to the national grid. Talk to us about the practicality of feeding into the national grid with this initiative. Uh, thanks, Michelle. I'm really um, great to be here. Um, I think that uh, some of the things that we need to be considering around those practicalities is the enablement of the regulatory environment, which we've heard really good news about, about recently from our president. I think that um, there's still some challenges to go, but um, ESCOM and uh, the industry are certainly rallying together with NERSA to make sure that we can uh, get things done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And this is exactly what's spoken about uh, in terms of public-private partnerships and where energy is concerned. It becomes quite critical in South Africa. How is the progress in terms of reaching the goals that you have set for yourselves with this initiative? Uh, well, as you know, we announced the MOU with EDF Renewables in March and have concluded our shareholders' agreement and the incorporation of Invusa Energy, uh, a jointly owned company together with EDFR Renewables, um, which was concluded in August. So we believe it's moving really quickly. We've been able to work in parallel with EDF Renewables on developing 600 megawatts of um, embedded and wheeled projects in the same time period. Mm, interesting that you mention uh, the uh, megawatts there because I'm also interested in finding out how much more in terms of capacity could come out of a move of this nature as of course uh, the national grid is struggling in South Africa and uh, there are questions around what type of energy combinations are needed to ensure that businesses do not suffer. Well, certainly the, um, the growth of renewables in terms of wind and solar um, is, is progressing. We've seen um, incredible movements in the uh, round six bits, um, and that will continue with, um, with uh, relative ease. What we need to make sure we've got access to when the wind is not blowing and the sun is not shining is that we have storage options um, to make sure that the grid can maintain its stability and that we can continue to deliver a 24-7 service. This initiative also speaks to getting towards a so-called just transition. I think let's uh, elaborate more on how we are meant to get to that uh, lower emissions uh, target level that is needed globally as a standard. How is it uh, that you are rolling that out on that front? Well, um, you, you might be aware Anglo-American has, has launched many initiatives, including 100% renewables in our LATAM operations. You will have seen the move um, with the, um, the proof of concept hydrogen truck recently. Um, and we have a number of other initiatives that we're looking at, including um, deep level storage. Mm. Uh, what's really important is that this um, partnership with EDFR allows us to leverage off an ecosystem of generating assets that will allow for community participation and for empowerment through the mm. transaction. Speaking of uh, community involvement, the latter is quite pivotal for the mining sector in particular where communities uh, should be involved in the day-to-day -day running as well as uh, revenue of uh, the mining companies that operate within those communities. How critical has this become, especially when you speak of some sort of shareholding within that participation of communities? Yes, community ownership is critical because it gives um, the community a sense of, of, of real ownership of the, of the assets and, and can see the benefits that, are, that can be driven from those assets. Um, but also communities can participate as suppliers to the projects. And generally, um, we think as the market liberalizes, there may be an opportunity for us to even supply energy to some of those communities who are in need. A very practical developments and much needed. Thank you so much for your time. Nicole Mason is head of carbon neutrality and business development at Anglo American Talk.